Welcome back friends. In this video, we'll be talking about uh, micro dissection. It's a technique. Uh, we can utilize this technique for analyzing segment of a chromosome. Okay. It's called the micro dissection. of chromosome okay now, as the term suggests micro dissection it means dissecting a chromosome obviously dissection of chromosome micro dissection means uh, the dissection is in a very miniature level because remember chromosomes are very very small very miniature we need to visualize them using proper staining and proper phase of uh, live the cell cycle which is metaphase and also we need to take microscope for visualization so that's why it's called the micro dissection it's not a macro dissection when we talk about dissecting animals and other things okay so it's a micro dissection now micro dissection means simply once we have suppose our chromosome for example say we are having this uh, is our uh, chromosome now we need to study the segment of a chromosome now we know the segment is somewhere here in this region so what we will do we prepare slide with the cell okay so it's a very very basic concepts actually but the opportunity after the micro dissection is more and more how so we get this chromosome suppose we need to study this uh, segment of, uh, of our chromosome so what we'll do we make uh, the cell we take the cell at the metaphase level but if the cell is not the metaphase level we need to stop their life cycle in the metaphase stage there are different techniques of um, of uh, freezing the cell cycle at the metaphase stage so that we get best uh, condensed chromosomes and we get the condensed chromosome out and after condensed uh, condensed cell uh, chromosome uh, containing cell sorry we get the cells and we plate it uh, or, or we place it in the uh, surface which is called the slide the glass slide so we place it in the glass slide and there we fix it with some fixing reagent after the fixing what we'll do we'll look that chromosome using a microscope so when you look this using a microscope we scrap off scrap off segment of scrap of a segment of gene for example say from this region we want this section so scrap off this section using micro using micro needle so use micro needles or microscopic needles to scrap up this part section of the chromosome and then what we'll do we scrap off this uh, part of section so suppose this is a section okay and we take it and we place it in a solution with buffers so we will be placing it in a solution buffer solution Okay, we put it in the buffer solution, and after putting into the buffer solution, we can do many job with this. This is simply called the micro dissection. So simply we take a sem sample segment of the chromosome. That's all. But what we do after the micro dissection is important because suppose we want to know uh, this segment of the gene more. We we have the sequence, whole genome sequence. We know the sequence, but what we need to do? Suppose we need to amplify a segment of a chromosome. We need to amplify it. So what we'll do, we need to take it in the buffer. Then what we'll do, we we make a PCR of it. So after this preparation of this micro dissecting chromosome, what we do, we run PCR. We run PCR. Suppose we are comparing the chromosome of two different individuals. So what we can do, we simply scrap off the segment of chromosome from the exact same points of the chromosome. Then what we can do, we can do a PCR and run a gel to look for is there any um, single nucleotide uh, polymorphism. Not actually single, but if there is a multiple nucleotide polymorphism that are present, we can detect it using this kind of micro dissection techniques. Because a polymorphism means, for example, say there are two genes, there are two chromosomes actually. For this is a chromosome and say this red color thing is another chromosome. So you all are human beings. So these two are also human being chromosomes. Now suppose there is somewhere here, it's a segment, so it's a particular nucleotide stretch, but the nucleotide stretch for this one is different than this one. Okay, so you can get these things. So if we scrap off the segment of chromosome from both these particular ends, then we amplify it with PCR, 
then we digest this product with restriction fragments, uh, restriction enzymes to get restriction uh, digested fragments. Then you run a gel. We can actually tell this difference by looking at the gel. Because due to this kind of nucleotide sequence changes, that can be easily, e easily visualized using that gel. Right? So these are the application of microdissection. Actually, microdissection is a very simple technique of just taking up the chromosome and preparing a solution of that. But after what we do using this particular stretch of the DNA sequence is very, very vast. One is PCR, then amplification, then also running gels. This thing can happen. And also it, it, it gives us the extensive, extensive mode of studying, extensive mode of studying chromosomes or segment of chromosome. Or suppose, like for example, say if we look at a bunch of chromosomes from somewhere, we uh, know that this is a chromosome which is having a diseased condition, right? We must, uh, we need to know what is the type of disease, what is the type of modification that has occurred in this chromosome. We are eager to know all these things, right? Suppose uh, there is a duplication or deletion happens somewhere in the chromosome and we detect the duplication or deletion. Remember the best technique to detect duplication and deletion in chromosome is comparative genomic hybridization or CGH. I have discussed the CGH technique in my uh, previous videos, so you can go back to YouTube channel of mine and you can see that video. Now using the CGH, suppose we get the idea that there is something duplication of this chromosome. So this segment is duplicated. So then what we'll do, we'll do a micro dissection of this duplicated or diseased chromosome, scrap off that segment and then amplify that product. Then we'll sequence that product to know exactly which part is duplicated. So we can study extensive mode uh, of this particular disease chromosomes is uh, for normal and also for the disease chromosome but we are targeting diseased one because we want to know what kind of exact changes is will taken place inside those chromosomes okay so that's the importance of this micro dissection and also we have seen it is helping us to create genetic maps uh, or it is helping us to tell the difference between two individual chromosomes using the restriction enzyme it is called the technique restriction fragment length polymorphism or RFLP Remember, using the technique RFLP or restriction fragment length polymorphism. So to prepare the segment of the chromosome or segment of the DNA for this RFLP analysis or for this kind of diseased chromosome analysis and PCR amplification, we must have taken the scrapping of the chromosomal segment from a bunch of chromosome or from a large chromosome. And that is what uh, is uh, microdissection of chromosome. Okay, so that's it. And I hope this video is helping you. Thank you.